let's see now how do we classify materials on the basis of transparency, hardness, ductility and malleability. Let's first see about transparency. Based on transparency, the material can be classified into three categories. But before that, let's understand what do you mean by transparency or being transparent. Now you know that you know the sunlight which falls on various objects. Right? Now when these sunlight fall on various objects, some of the objects allow this light to pass through it. Right? Some object may not allow the light to pass through them at all. And then there are some other object which allow, let's say if these three ray come in, they will allow one to pass through it while the other two may not. So transparency is basically the ability of an object to allow light to pass through it. Ability of an object to allow light to pass through it. And on this basis the objects can be classified as transparent opaque or translucent. Transparent objects are the one which allow the light to pass through them completely. So let's say the glass in a showroom. When you pass through a showroom and you see there is a glass outside the showroom that allows light to pass through completely, what happens is you are able to see the objects lying in the showroom. Why? Because the glass which is there allows the light to pass through it. An opaque object is the one which does not allow the light to pass through it. Let's say something like an iron or a wood. So if suppose there is an iron rod lying here and if there is an individual who wants to see what is lying behind this wall, he can't see it. Right? If this wall was of iron. If the same guy sees through a glass wall, he will be able to see through it. Right? And the third category is translucent. So this category partly allows light to pass through. So this would be the case, let's say there is an oil paper. When this guy looks at this oil paper, he sees that some part of the light passes through this paper and therefore he is able to see things behind this paper not clearly, as clearly as a glass but not unlike an iron rod where you can't see anything only, you can see certain things. Then comes the hardness. We all know there are certain things which are hard and certain things which are soft. Now how do you know whether a particular thing is hard or whether it is soft? A hard thing when pressed or beaten do not change shape. Again, this iron rod example. If you try to press it, you try to beat it, it doesn't change its shape. Whereas something soft like a cotton changes shape. Right? Now a ductile and malleability is a condition which is more in context of solid materials. Okay? So a solid material is said to be ductile okay, 
if you can change its shape without breaking it and convert it into wires. So if you would have seen the electrical wires, you know, inside that there are, let's say this is an electrical wire, then there are small, 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 small further wires between this, right? So these are made up of copper at times, okay? So these wires are said to be ductile. So the copper is said to be ductile. It's said to be malleable if it can be beaten into sheets stroke foils. So let's say when you see stainless steel sheets, right? You see iron sheets which are used to keep at the top of the houses, especially in places where you have a lot of rains. So these are examples of malleable materials, right?